Hey people, this is Video Game Stupid, and instead of doing my normal recap video where you just see me talking about stuff, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually go and do a little bit of a playthrough of Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles while telling you exactly what happened at another anime convention. That's literally what it's called. It's not another anime convention, it's literally called another anime convention. And it's in Nashua, and Nashua, New Hampshire, and it was at the Radisson Hotel. The Radisson Hotel looks like a castle. Literally, when I got there, I thought I was going to a castle. It was, it was, it was, it was jaw dropping. I was, it was jaw dropping. I was like, what? A castle? Oh, this is going to be amazing. Ha ha. So then I got there, and then Friday, I'm going to tell you what happened Friday. All right, pretty much. Um, a bunch of stuff happened Friday. There was a guy named Jay. He did a really, really awesome in, um, rendition of Billie Jean. While I was just in my, uh, Michael Jackson costume. I was wearing a beaded outfit. We got into a little bit of a conversation a bit and stuff. And then, you know, he did a rendition. He had, he had a laptop. He had a, I think he had like a Mac or something on him. A lap, Mac laptop. And he just, he just pulled out the song and just started, he had an instrumental version of it. He just started singing it. And he just happened to have it on him. I'm like, wow, this is, this is, that's pretty awesome. Thanks very much, Jay. It kind of sucks you missed the um, self-defense class, but, you know, it's awesome that you doing a rendition anyway. And then also, um, what happened on um, Friday, there was this little contest going on. Basically, um, these three prisoners escaped, and you have to, like, recap we have to, like, recapture them all. Like, a bunch of us had to recapture them and bring them back within the hour. And <laughs> I captured one of them, and you had to do rapid pieces of shoot when you found them, and they were, like, steampunk guys, but they all kept... Chain in disguises. Like one guy had a firefighter helmet on and a mask, and I didn't realize it until it was too late. And then some other guy had on a different costume. I eventually gave up, but then I saw some guy because I took a picture of them, and I saw a guy. Nice kick, Rebecca. I saw uh, Billy. I mean, and I saw a guy, and I'm like, oh, I got you. Did I push this shoe? I beat him. And we were going back to the room, and then when my back was turned, I got distracted by really awesome cosplay. He just ran, and then I had to recapture him again. Someone else had to recapture him. Then I captured some other guy. And then they made him a contestant. It was all so very confusing. It was very confusing, but it was very fun at the same time. Eventually, the guy try he, he comes back in, and he tries escaping. And I'm sitting there trying to hold him back and hold him down. And then he's just like... It, he, he, he eventually makes it outside, and we're, I'm sitting out there outside, and I'm sitting there like... Almost wrestling him to the ground, pretty much, and there's like a crowd of people watching, like, you know, like what the hell is going on? In case people, you, in, in case you saw me um, dressed as Michael Jackson trying to uh, tackle some steampunk dude to the ground, that's what was going on. I was trying to, it was, it was part of a game and stuff. Cause he kept trying to escape, and he, 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 t I, I tried feeding him gummy bears, and it didn't work. It, it, it was just craziness. But I did eventually won that, and two other people won as well. It was very, very awesome. I enjoyed it very much. And then what else happens Friday? Um, the bunny lounge. The bunny lounge was really awesome. I don't drink at all. It was like it was basically a drinking event, I guess. But I don't drink, so it didn't really it didn't really matter with the drinks and stuff. It was just awesome being there. And we, I played cards with a few. I played this game called Wench with a couple of dudes. Basically, this game. I don't even know what it's about now. It's so confusing. It's like a bunch of rules and like you can't talk in your cell phone or you get a bunch of cards. Basically, to get rid of your cards and stuff, pretty much for Wench. We played that, and then I got a few pictures with the bunnies, and there was some trivia and dancing. I won like one of the dancing things, and I won like one of the. Oh, I didn't want. To, I didn't want any. I didn't know any of the trivia because it was all seventies related trivia, so it kind of went over my head. But you know, it was it was fun being there. You know, the bunny lounge is awesome. I'll probably go again next year. I'll definitely go again after have it again next year. But pretty much, yeah. After that, um, the waffle off. Oh my god, the waffle off. Get off, get off. The Waffle Off was amazing. Oh my goodness, the Waffle Off was just... You know, what I, what I thought it was going to be was... I thought it was going to be like, you know, like a hot dog eating contest or something where people eat hot dogs. You had to eat the fastest, but no, that's not what it was at all. It's basically like a bunch of... There's a bunch of trivia questions, and then there was like... Um, well, if you saw the footage, you know what happened. It was like... There was like a bunch of trivia, and then they had like physical challenges like dancing, dancing with waffles, waffle baseball, which I participated in. Um, waffle, waffle bra eating contest, waffle, just so many waffle related stuff. It was, it was amazing though. Then we did a slow motion waffle run at the end. <laughs> oh man, that was so awesome. And, I, and some girl had a waffle on her head and she was trying to like get away from some people because so, they're trying to knock the waffle off of her head. So I just walked up to her and just knocked it off of her head because I felt like it. It was awesome. Yeah, I've got that full, full first aid spray. Waffle off. If you, if you go, if any of you go to, um, 
eight, another anime convention next year, 2012. You should definitely go to the Waffle Off. It was amazing. Oh man, you just don't know. You just don't know how amazing it was. It was just, it was, it was awesome. And then after that, pretty much went to the lobby. I changed out of my outfit. I went to the lobby area. There's a bunch of people talking and stuff. And you know, there, there, there was a, there was a few people. Like Jack Sparrow was there. This dude who was dressing up as um, nostalgia critic. He was this guy named Mike. He dressed up as a nostalgia critic. He was awesome. Then there was this guy named Alex. He was dressed as I, I can't. I never played Final Fantasy VIII before, but he was dressed as a character from Final Fantasy VIII. And he, there, there, everyone there was awesome. Dragon, you were awesome too. Green Dragon, you were Break Dancing Dragon, you were awesome. And we're sitting there talking for Eden. There was um, Jack Sparrow and I guess his girlfriend. He, she was like wearing like this. She was like a steampunk vampire. I, I don't, I don't really know. She was awesome too. And we're just sitting there talking and telling stories and stuff. And it was like six o'clock in the morning. Pretty much most people had gone to sleep by then, but <laughs> oh my goodness, six o'clock in the morning. That's how long you stay up till just talking. Like pretty much the waffle off ended like around twelve or one or something. So we stayed up for like five hours to sit, like four or five hours or something. And eventually, the, the one of the last few people there was Jack Sparrow, his girlfriend. I'm guessing it was his girlfriend. The steampunk vampire, um, CL was there, and also one of the doctors from Doctor Who was there. And what, I, what we were talking was like how I don't remember really something has something to do with women's breasts and bras or something. I don't quite, I don't really remember. It was very, very strange, but awesome though. It's like six o'clock in the morning talking about bras and breasts and how women fit in their bras and how they grow into them. It, it was very, very intriguing. Move this way. Let's go this way. So then, you know, I went to sleep, and I woke up, like, around 11 or something, and then, you know, I just did a bunch of random stuff throughout the day. I didn't really, do, I didn't really record that much footage, though, to be honest, this time. Like, usually, like, PAX, I recorded, like, so much footage. Kineticon, I recorded, like, too much footage, but, you know, people still liked it anyway. This time, I didn't record that much footage, because I knew I wasn't going to have the internet, so I knew that if I tried uploading it from elsewhere, I would have to, like... Well, that's not really the reason why. I don't know, I guess, I, 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 I just... I guess I just wanted to like do so much more outside of camera rather than just record everything, just actually do stuff. And I think I did that this time. On Saturday, you know, I did the masquerade, of course. Yeah, Rebecca, do it. I did the masquerade, and then of course, um, after the masquerade, I went to the dance. And the dance, you know, usually when I go to the dance, it's like when I went to the anime Boston's rave or dance. I stayed there for like ten minutes and I left because I'd never been to a rave or dance like that before. And then, when I went to Kenicon, you know, I actually stayed to dance for a little bit before leaving. I, I stayed for at least, like, about 30, 40 minutes, a good 30, 40 minutes before leaving. Both days. This time, there was only one dance, and it was only on Saturday. So, you know, I said, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm just gonna go there and just do, actually do something. I'm gonna actually try to muster up the courage, get into the middle of the circle, and do something. Dressed in my frilla outfit. Even though I can't dance that well, and I have a, I have a, like, an extreme fright, uh, fear of dancing in public in front of people and stuff, especially at a rave type thing, you know. Eventually, you know, Johnny Bravo comes up, he's like, hey, man, how, how's it going? I'm like, I'm doing okay. You look a little nervous, man. You know, you're the king of pop, you know. You, you, you just gotta go out there and dance. I'm like, um, all right, all right, I'll, I'll get the courage up. And then Mikey from Friday, you know, he kind of came up too, and he's like, you know, he's just, you, just gotta, you just gotta go out there and dance, man, you know. You just gotta go out there and do it. And then, you know, that kind of that kind of gave me the courage to go out there and get into the middle of the circle. I don't know what I did. I think I messed up. The, I'm, I, I know I messed up the moonwalk. I know I messed it up. I can't really do the moonwalk at all, so I know I messed it up, but, you know, I just... Ah! I just went out there, and I did my thing. I just did it. Did whatever I did. And I feel good about that, because I actually did something for once. Instead of sitting, sitting in the background the whole entire time. Get away from me. Damn it. And, you know, it was, it, I, 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 yeah, it was awesome. I loved it. And then I was dancing with a bunch of random people. I danced with the brony, the bra, well, I didn't really dance with him, but we, we kind of talked a little bit and stuff. Like, you know, he's saying, like, if someone doesn't like how you're dancing, then they're no friend of yours or something like that. It, it kind of helped me a lot that night. And I thank him for that. And I also, Alucard, I, I remember seeing him near the end of the dance, and we kind of we kind of talked a little bit, too, and stuff. It was awesome. And then I, I oh, yeah, I taught, uh, Early in the dance, I taught um, these two girls wanted to, <laughs> wanted me to teach them some moves. So, I you want to know what I taught them? I taught them the I taught them the crotch grab. I I said you know what, you, let's, let's all right let's teach you the crotch grab. So, 
<laughs> like, how you do it? It's like, you just gotta grab your crotch, and you take out your other hand, and do, like, this with your hand. And that's what you do to crotch grab. And he actually did it, too. I was like, wow. That is awesome. That 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 is freaking awesome. And also, earlier, I was doing, like, um, some dance move where it requires you to have your hand go, your arm go behind your back, and you can't see what's going on. I was doing that, and I think I accidentally grabbed some woman's boob. Um, I'm sorry that that happened. That was not on purpose. I did not see you behind me, but she was dancing with another girl as well. I don't think she noticed or cared. She didn't really seem to notice or care, but I'm, I'm just apologizing anyway now. And, and you know, that was the dance, and then after that, it was like 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness! 3 o'clock in the morning, and then, you know, it's like late, and then some of the same people that were there the previous night in the lobby were conversing again, so I joined them again. I took off my outfit, and I joined them, and we're just talking and stuff. And we had to be, we had to be, actually be asleep by, the staff went us, went us in, um, out of the lobby by like 4 o'clock. Because we were up too late, apparently, the night before. So they went us out of there by 4 o'clock, so, you know, we said, alright, we'll be out there by 4. And then, pretty much, this guy cosplaying Spawn on Friday. He was cosplaying something else Saturday, but Friday he was cosplaying Spawn. And he's like, alright, all, come to my room, and there'll be stuff to do. So we're like, okay, let's go. So we went there. And it was me, a bunch of guys, some uh, uh, some uh, guy, a, a dude with blonde hair and glasses. He was there as well. He was with us in the lobby, and then a bunch of other random people. And was, there was like these two girls. One of them had a really awesome British accent. No one kept calling me random black dude, even though we had name tags, even though we had name tags that clearly had our names on them. And I wrote, and I wrote mine in big purple letters. She still called me random black guy. Whatever. It's it's in an, it's in an anime convention. So whatever. But anyway, you know. <laughs> oh my goodness, Scorpion! Not from Mortal Kombat either. Scorpion and Resident Evil Zero. But anyway, yeah. So we went to the room, and there was nothing to do at all. There was nothing to do. Like we're just like sitting there, and we're, we're like trying to like bra uh, brainstorm what to do. Eventually, we come up with a brilliant idea to just walk around randomly throughout the whole entire um, uh, hotel area. Go from different floors, go for, go for the ele use the elevator to go to different floors, and basically try to um, knock on doors or see if, listen to people's doors to see if there's anything going on. And basically did that for like at least about a good 10 minutes, and then we eventually gave up, went on the third floor, and there was a bunch of chairs set up, a bunch of like um, sofas and couches set up, so that they're like, it was like a giant sofa fortress or something. I had no involvement in, or I have, I had no involvement in that whatsoever. Just let anybody know, because I heard people complaining about that the previous, the next day, and I died. Oh well. So yeah, we pretty much just sat there, and then eventually we decided that we would go to the second floor and try searching there. And then some of the people stayed behind. The two girls stayed behind, and some other guy, one other guy stayed behind too. And I joined, spawned the rest of the group. So we're going for the second floor, and of course there's this window, like overlooking the lobby. So we were walking by the window. And then we see, like, some of the staff actually look up at us, and they're glaring at us. I'm like, oh, duck, duck! So we just start doing Metal Gear Solid style, and just ducking. And it was scary as crap. Like, I, I, I thought we were going to get caught. You know what happened? We did get caught. Because then the staff eventually comes up, and they're like, alright, you guys got to go to bed. You guys, you can't be walking around. You got to actually go into your hotel rooms now. So then, Spawn says, you know, I'm, a, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go and do something else. I'm just gonna go in my room. So then one of the kids follows him, and then the two girls come up, go with him as well. And then we're just kind of walking around. We're just kind of standing on the third floor still, trying to figure out what to do. And then the staff guy comes again. He tells us that we have to go. We definitely have to. We really, we really have to go to bed now. So then we go on the. Um, we go to the roof area, and the roof was padlocked. It was basically the eighth floor. And it was padlocked, so we just stayed on the little landing right before, right before the door and stuff, and just kind of stayed there for a bit, trying to figure out what to do. And eventually, we hear stairs going up, and I'm like, "Oh, there's someone's coming up! It might be the staff. We gotta get out of here. If they tell us, we might actually kick us out if you stay up here." So then I run to the seventh floor. The other two, the other three guys that were with me, they kind of just go their own separate way because I was staying on the seventh floor, and they were staying somewhere else. So they just kind of we all separated, and it was like. Five, it was like 6 o'clock at this point, and I, I just went to sleep. And 
I did not see any of those guys the next day. I didn't see Spawn. I didn't see those two girls. I didn't see any of them at all the next day. I don't. I didn't see the blonde kid, the glasses. I don't. Know, I don't know if they got caught or not. I don't know. I don't know. I just. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is I'm playing Resident Evil. I'm playing Resident Evil and Brother Chronicles right now. But anyway, Sunday. Not too much happened Sunday, really. I mean, there was a bunch of random stuff. I mean, you saw the footage. A bunch. Uh, I mean, I was like, you know, I woke up. It was seven o'clock. Then I woke up again at nine. Then I woke up again at eleven. But because I was so tired and exhausted, I thought it was seven again. So I went back to sleep. And then my one of the roommates, actually the the person hosting the room, or the room master person, whatever. She she like wakes me up. She's like, all right, it's, it's eleven now. You gotta like be out there by twelve. I'm like, ah! so I quickly just get dressed, take a shower, go and get all my stuff together, and I get my suitcase. And it turns out that bag checking was full, so I can actually check my bag in, or get it, like, you know, put in the room where I can just go and do whatever random stuff. I had to actually carry it with me for a little bit. So I was walking around randomly outside of my suitcase and my bags, and then I see a bunch of people at the lake. And guess who they were? Hetalia cosplayers! I'm a huge fan of Italia, so that was, like, awesome to me. That was really, really awesome. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hang out with these guys for a bit. And guess what? It wasn't just random Italia. It was a photo shoot. I've never been to a photo shoot before. Not one like this, anyway. I've, I, well, I really, I've never been to a photo shoot before. Let's just say that. The one I kind of didn't count. I only stayed for, like, five seconds. But, you know, I was, I was hanging out with them and stuff. And then before the photo shoot, we played a bit of games. We played, like, this game. I don't really know what it's called, but the tune goes... Ra 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 that Mustang ra 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 that Mustang ra 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 that Mustang this is how we go. I that song will stay in my head. Uh, that song will stick with me forever. But I don't really mind because that song was awesome. That game was awesome too. And we played that for a bit. Then we played Simon Says and Red Light Green Light. And then we eventually we eventually went out with the photo shoot. I took at least fifty pictures, and there was another camera guy there as well. And he took a bunch of pictures and stuff. And we just hung out and stuff with the Hatalia cosplays. It was awesome. And even though, you know, I think most of the Taylor cosplayers were girls, anyway, and normally it's weird. It's like, you know guys, like, you hang out with a bunch of girls and, you know, you feel strange and awkward and out of place. I didn't really feel like that for me for some reason. It was, even though it was a bunch of, they were, they were cosplaying as, you know, some of my favorite country characters from Italia. So it, it felt awesome. And it, it, it was just like, you know, it was just fun. Definitely want to go to more photo shoots, though. I don't usually go to them because I don't, I can't find them because I, 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 I just walk around randomly. That's what I do at cons. I walk around randomly and see, hope I find something to do. There's, some, there's something to do. That's really what I do. I just happened to find this awesome Metalia cosplay photo shoot group, and it was amazing. And then pretty much after that, I went home. Um, that was pretty much it. Got a lot of um, Nintendo 3DS Street Pass things. I got Mikey like five or six times in like one day. It was it was pretty awesome. And then you know, pretty much I saw the closing ceremonies and then took the taxi home. But that was pretty much it. And for swag, all I got was one piece. It was like a Viz Big Book version of one piece. Here it is right here. And then I got Wind Waker. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. That's all I got for swag, but that's okay. You know, a convention, getting a lot of swag does not make a convention. Having fun at a convention makes a convention. You know, it doesn't matter how much, how little you get or how much you get. As long as you had a great time. And even though it was smaller than most other conventions, I still, I, I felt like I had a lot of fun anyway. It was, it was a different kind of fun. It wasn't like taking pictures and stuff, like doing all, it was, it was like, you know, just hanging out with people and stuff and just doing things and going out of your getting out of your show basically so to speak I got to meet a lot of people and stuff I, got, I saw a lot of people a lot of people from Kineticon were there, or at um, AAC as well so it was awesome being able to see them again and it was just awesome but I'm gonna call it here people and um, I'm wearing on my jacket now so, uh, so you, yeah Yeah, this is this was what I was wearing at the convention, and I just died. But this is what I was wearing: my thriller jacket. Probably still can't see. This is yeah. This is what I was wearing, just so you didn't, so just so you don't know who's talking and whatnot. And I had my pajamas on as well. Got bears on them. 
Yes, yes. I love my bear pajamas. But anyway, people, I gotta go now, and I will see you later. And I kept it under. I kept it under 20 minutes. That is a that is that is amazing. Usually it lasts longer than that, but I kept it short this time. But here are the pictures. There are a lot of pictures taken, and here they are. So see you, people, and good night. Uh, stop.